In this video I'll be showing you this fan for the van uh, which will keep us cool in the heat. Okay, all the bits from eBay have now arrived, so um, I can now show you the finished version. This is obviously the fan um, from Amazon mounted onto the wood. Um, we then have um, the incoming feed from the leisure battery, uh, just coming into a way you go. This is just so we can disconnect it when we want to take it out if we need to. And we've got positive and negative. Negative is just going to the speed controller uh, here and also going to the negative feed on the thermostatic relay to the ground feed there. The positive um, comes out and goes to the middle position on this on off on switch and then we also take a positive feed uh, from there to the relay and not to the controller just to the relay. So when it's connected this wire is always live the reason for that is to allow us to do it independently. Uh, you'll see why in a second. So, the middle pin's obviously live, and then depending on the position of this switch, one side or the other goes live. On one side, we can see uh, we change to blue, which is, is for fan, which goes to the positive side of the speed controller. And the other side of the switch is red, uh, which just goes to the control uh, panel on the thermostatic relay. The other side of the relay, so that basically this, this will turn the relay on and off um, depending on temperature. The relay, we know this red wire is always live from the middle point of the switch. And the other feed, um, for, so when the relay is enabled, also goes to the speed controller. Um, so basically the speed controller can get its power from either the thermostatic relay or the switch. And from then on it just um, connects to the fan. Simple as and then we've got a twisting up on the speed controller. The thermostatic relay has got um, a thermostat and I put it in the, in the line of the fan because I'm not too worried about um, heat cycle. I'm actually worried about the, I want to set it to the inside van temperature so if we set it to say 25 degrees I want to know that's the air temperature so yeah when the fan cuts in it'll, it'll run. So let's turn the speed down, I'll switch the switch to one position. I'll go to this way first and you'll see it just goes to on the relay's off, uh, the, sorry, the, even the control is off. We're going to control the speed on here quite happily. And I can turn it off. And you can see the power fades there. And I can put it into the other position. And you can see the uh, thermostatic relay is now on because obviously we're getting power to this socket. The right hand one, sorry, the left hand one's always live, but now the switch is just sending it to the um, 12 volts. So it's currently 23.2 degrees. I've set it to 24. So I can just hold the um, thingy. So I'll go to 24 and this one's a bit bizarre. It goes the one degree past it. So I'll go to 25 and shut off at 24. So you can see at 25 the fans cut in. And I'll just turn the speed up. Obviously it's not cooling down. I can now warm it back up. Again, it won't come on at 24. You can re you can program the um, delta, but what one degree is generally about fine. So again, as soon as it crosses, cuts in, and then you've got a yeah, lovely draft there. Um, it's obviously blowing out. So we're probably not going to um, adjust this in, in, in normal usage. 24, 25 is probably about fine to have the fan working. Um, otherwise, there's no real point. Um, and the other thing we've done is we've just fitted the um, large uh, screen. So it's basically sucking through that screen, so the fact it's Louvre events doesn't really matter. And pretty much that's it. Um, we're just going to make a fascia um, out of some spare, we've got some spare junk in the corner. So we've got some spare PVC which will bend up and make a nice little control panel and hide everything underneath. Okay, and here's the finished thing. Um, this is just some PVC that I had left over from the bathroom install um, with a couple of holes. 
got a hole in the top so we can see the digital thermostat and actually press those three buttons if I want to adjust the temperature. But now we can just turn it on and once it goes on, that's on medium and obviously down to low or high. Um, or we could put it to automatic and obviously on automatic the temperature cuts in. This is our main skylight, it's the uh, Heki 400, a uh, Heki Mini. Um, we have the deep version, so this is about 60 mil. Um, so the handle's quite high, so it means we've got room for the fan to be above the um, base. If you've got the smaller version or your handle's low, you may want to consider putting the fan underneath. And that's doable because you can just uh, put the fan underneath where you've got the vent, um, but on the other side you can take the fan blades out and turn them upside down so that the, the airflow of the fan is reversed. You may be able to just change the uh, polarity of the motor but sometimes they prefer working one way so I prefer not to alter that. So to install this um, we've closed one of the um, blinds a little bit and then we can just drop this on and rest it on there and then pull across the other blind. And hey presto it's just balanced and, and nice and firm. Obviously you need power but we've got power in the corner. Um, I would say for this purpose um, and I'd be telling the truth. We did plan to use the um, Fiamma turbo fan and to be honest that's incredibly weak in comparison so not ideal. So here it is installed. Um, we put it on half power which is where we're going to be having it. I'll turn that on now. The current draw is between 0.8-0.9 amps so under one amp to um, really need to sort of for the speed you really want. At this speed you can start to feel the drafts coming from the other uh, skylights so showing there is airflow coming across. And just a bit of clean kitchen roll, you, know, you can see the suction there is, is quite impressive even at this speed to actually hold it. It's about uh, it's a thousand cubic feet a minute so it's actually an impressive fan. You put it up to full speed, yes it's a lot of noise of course, it's now taking um, 3 amps of power, so a lot more power um, than it was, but the, the suction is yeah, absolutely mega. You wouldn't normally have it on there. So pretty much that's it. Um, normally we'd have it on, I would say on, on, on half, and we'd have it on our automatic setting, so that it would just cut in and out when it's needed, just to keep the airflow. Uh, as we've got it here, we're blowing air out of the skylight, and I think we'd probably prefer that to actually just keep the air moving through the van. We did think we'd have it down, pointing down to keep us, us cool in bed if we needed it. But actually the airflow from the other skylight is enough just to keep some airflow going. Anyway, hope this is an interesting video for you guys. And I hope there's some ideas that you might be able to nick. Cheers. Bye.